actually those of us in public life are coming to, to learn not to read our proclamations that we're handing out because people after about the tenth wear ask, go, what the hell are these people up there doing? But uh, anyway, this is a this is an insert that I had placed in the congressional record, really recognizing Dick's service to our uh, to our community, uh, and I mean community in the large sense beyond uh, the education community, but also recognizing his leadership in education, and it's it's a pleasure to to join you here this afternoon in recognizing his service uh, to the education establishment in our community, uh, his dedication to the students, and to the teachers, and to the governance of the, uh, of the district. And as one who uh, spent some time uh, running seminars at the Olympic High School, uh, his dedication to uh, continuation uh, education and alternative education for students who don't necessarily thrive in the, uh, in the regular environment, if you will, uh, and so often, uh, probably I thought to some extent that their level of failure, if you will, would be rather great, and yet I've come to see so many of the students that I was uh, with at, uh, at Olympic High who are doing rather well out there in the, uh, in the, in the regular world, if you will, uh, with jobs and families and, and aspirations and hopes, and I think that uh, Dick's dedication to uh, alternative education and continuing education uh, taught me a lot. It's taught me a lot as I sit on the uh, Education Committee in the Congress about how we fashion policies to allow the maximum number of young people to thrive in that uh, in that environment. And he's been a great mentor uh, to me, sometimes a critic, but uh, <laughs> he loves the federal role in education. Um, <laughs> you heard him say that at the board meetings, right? How much he, how much he admires it. But in any case, a very helpful uh, partner to, uh, to me in my years of public service and my role in education. So uh, this uh, congressional record insert is a token of my appreciation and public acknowledgement of your contributions. And congratulations to you, to your family, and on your retirement. Thank you. Did everyone hear that? <laughs> I like to tease people. 
people, but there's nothing better than getting, having somebody give me a good shot. And Vicky's, Vicky's given some of the best. So I said, putting up my sense of humor, the, the ever shy uh, Mrs. Allen said, or lack of. So, <laughs> look at how much she's enjoying it. <laughs> just came out. Uh, yeah, I know. That, that happens Slip. all the time. Um, and in spite of Vicky, you've done a wonderful job. <laughs> so, on behalf of the state of California, because of, because of Vicky, um, I do want to thank, thank you and say congratulations. And we do have a resolution for you. Thanks, Dave. Susan Bonilla, uh, Assemblywoman uh, Joan Buchanan, and Assemblywoman Nancy Skinner is a resolution for 50 plus years of service to our community. <coughs> the state of California holds in highest esteem those who devote their lives to the betterment of children and included among those individuals who have committed themselves to this endeavor is Richard Allen. Let it be the result that Assemblymember Susan A. Bonilla, Joan Buchanan, and Nancy Skinner, that Dick Allen be commended on his distinguished re record of leadership as a California educator applauded on his exemplary display of public achievements, and extended sincere and best wishes for continued success in the future. Thank you.